Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'll be showing you the M-Cube 02 Laser Level Pro from Hozo Design. This system combines the M-Cube 02 Laser Level with the M-Cube 00 main unit, giving you a complete setup for precision, measuring, leveling, and alignment. I've reviewed other levels on my channel, but what really caught my attention with this one is its hands-free vacuum adhesion system. It can suction itself to walls, ceilings, and other surfaces, plus it connects to its very own app, making it interactive and very very versatile. This is an anti-gravity laser level which allows you to work hands-free and is designed for wall projects without the need for a tripod or to drive a nail into a wall and anchor it like my other lasers. It attaches securely using a minus 55,000 PA vacuum pump system and it won't mark or damage surfaces, thank goodness. So let's take a closer look at each of the products in front of me. First up is the M-Cube 02 laser level unit, which can be used on its own. There's a protective cap over the control dial at the bottom, and I think I'm going to hang on to this to use it during storage and transportation. It does come with a Type-C power cord, though you'll need your own cube adapter. It plugs in right here at the bottom and you will want to charge it fully before first use. It's five volts, two amps, and it lasts up to 12 hours with continuous use. The body of the M-Cube measures four inches in diameter and to the tallest point looks to be about three and a quarter inches. The cord measures 40 inches in overall length. It's very light and weighs roughly six ounces. On the bottom, there is a soft foam pad that's removable, washable, and replaceable. In the very middle is a metal grate which you'll want to keep clean. Speaking of replacements, Hozo did send me this one. You can see it's a little bit different and this is for high strength jobs. And also it comes with this rough surface mount base and it has two pins. They store right here. You attach them to the wall like this. There's a rubber insert inside of there, so when you push these back in, they stay in for storage. I saw a question online asking if this would work for construction, and I would say absolutely, but in certain situations. If there's a lot of drywall dust or sawdust, no, because it would get sucked into the machine. But for installation of doors or a handrail or lights, most likely the walls are already finished and painted. So in those applications, this product is perfect. And it's also great for homeowners alike doing their DIY projects such as hanging shelves or installing a microwave, which I happen to be doing right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over all of the parts of this tool. The laser windows are located here and here. There's one horizontal and one vertical bubble level over here, and these do light up when it's turned on. It times out automatically after one minute. There, just went off. I don't know if you heard it, but it just clicked. Over here is the suction indicator LED light scale. And on the bottom is the control dial knob, which both spins and presses in. Here's where the M-Cube 00 main unit attaches. The magnets are super strong. All you have to do is get close. It detaches by pushing in on these two buttons and it lifts right out. The battery indicator light is right here next to the charging port. In the box that contain the cord, you're also going to find this adapter. So you can use this laser with other brands up to 11 pounds or five kilograms, which really surprises me. It clicks on like that and the thread sizes are quarter inch and five eighths inch. To power on, press and hold the control dial button for five seconds. Hold it for two seconds to activate the suction. Press it again for two seconds to release suction. If the LED shows two to five bars, it's securely attached. You will hear the motor kick on periodically to maintain suction. If you see a red bar and hear an alarm, remove it immediately. That means the battery is running low or suction is insufficient. If the level struggles and begins to shake, just press the dial three times to activate no shake mode. If you turn it, you can toggle through the laser line options and choose whether you want one line at a time or both together. And the last turn will cycle them both off. When you attach the M-Cube 00, it unlocks even more features. 
Here's a quick overview of the parts. The main measure button is here on the top, followed by the on and off button. The type C charging port is at the bottom and it does come with its own 40 inch cable as well. The modular connector is at the bottom and on the top is the laser emitter lens and the receiver lens and the charging indicator is at the top of the display when you turn it on. You'll want to download the Mesler app on your phone or laptop. It's super easy. Just go to the app store or scan the QR code in the box. You'll also want to prepare by going to the settings to calibrate the device by placing it on a flat surface and following the prompts. You can also choose what language you'd like and if you want your measurements to show in imperial or metric readings. With the main unit attached, you can use the touch screen or the knob to toggle through the functions. From top to bottom, you'll see all of these options. There are too many to go over in great detail, but they do some pretty amazing things such as calculating the minimum, maximum, and average length of an area, finding an angle, and calculating complex measurements. When you scroll, touch the right side of the screen and only click on the icons when you want that option. To go back, swipe the screen diagonally. There is a quick start guide that touches on each function or you can find tutorials on the app. I'm going to run through some of the basics and demonstrate it in use. When you attach the laser to the wall, you'll see a level icon asking you to dial in, then press OK. When you hit laser, it quickly gives you the exact distance and degree. When you rotate it on the 360 degree gimbal, you'll get real-time changes and readings and the laser automatically calculates complex equations based on the Pythagorean theorem. This is a level two laser with a resolution of 240 PPI. It's four times brighter than most standard levels and has a range of 164 feet. Now I'm going to show you some of the functions that I think would be very popular with most users. The first being the point-to-point -point option. You just simply rotate the gimbal, and when you've hit your first point, press the prompt. Then rotate to the next point and press the button again. You will automatically get the distance between those two points. You can also find midpoint by following the same basic steps using the center finder. It takes all of the guesswork out of this task and the laser points to the exact spot. There are accessories to help you further pinpoint the distance, such as the center and target mate. Just peel the sticker off the back and place it over the first reference point, then place the M cube over the target and engage the suction. For example, say you have an existing picture and you'd like to hang a second one a specified distance away. As you move the target mate, you can see the display calculations change, and once you locate the exact spot, there's even a hole where you can insert a pencil to make a mark. Hoso Design offers an entire system with multiple options to choose from, including rubber covers that protect this laser level up to 70 inches if dropped. It truly is a smart product with amazing capabilities. I will include more stats and shopping links in the description for your convenience. So to sum it up, the M-Cube Zero Two Laser Level Pro combines precise laser leveling with distance and angle measurement, hands-free adhesion, and app connectivity. It's powerful enough for professional site work, but also user-friendly for DIY home projects. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please let me know in the comments and give me a follow. Until next time, take care.